Welcome to our lecture online. How do we plot points on a rectangular coordinate system, also called the Cartesian coordinate system? Well, notice that any ordered pair represents a point on the xy plane. Here we have point A, B, C, and D, and they all have two values. The first value is the x coordinate of the point, the second value is the y coordinate. So, what we need to do is, of course, recognize that the first value is associated with the x and the second value is associated with y. And that's probably the most confusing part until we get used to seeing that. So, the way you're going to plot a point is to take a look at the two values. You go to the x value first, you go to your x axis and identify the point on the x axis. So, in this case, we're looking for the point 2 on the x axis. It's a positive 2, so it's to the right of the origin. So once you find your point where x equals 2, then you look at your second value and then you go up if it's positive or down if it's negative, this number of points or this number of, of values. So in this case, since we have x equals 2, we're right here. Now we drop down one unit to the uh, downward because we have a negative one y value. So there's 2 to the right, 1 down. There's your point A, which has the value 2 comma negative 1. Okay, let's find point B. Notice, again, we start with the x value, which is 3 units to the right of the origin. 1, 2, 3, so we put a point right there. And now we see that the value is a positive 5, so we go up 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then that's the point we're looking for. So there's point B, which has the coordinates. 3 for x and 5 for y. Now let's find point C. There we see that the first value is the negative value, so we have to go to the left from the y-axis. On the x-axis, travel one unit to the left, so that's x equals negative 2. And now we drop down two units in the y direction. So 1, 2, we'll put the point down right there. And so that would be point C. And C is equal to negative 1, negative 2. And finally, we have point D. Again, we start with the x value. The x value is negative 2. So we go 2 units to the left, 1, 2. So there, x equals negative 2. And now since y is a positive 6, we go up 6 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. There's the point, negative 2, 6. And that is point D. So here we have point A, 2, negative 1. We have point B. 3, 5, we have point C, which is negative 1, negative 2, and we have point two, uh, D, which is negative 2 and positive 6. It, it helps to draw the little dots so you can see how many units you move up or down or left and right. And sometimes having a quadrille paper that shows the little squares everywhere makes it easy to find those points on the Cartesian coordinate system. But that is how we graph or how we plot points on that rectangular or Cartesian coordinate system.